This session will address the overcloud nodes configuration via Ironic. For now we will limit the nodes only to virtual machines, I'll show you a BMS configuration later. What is Ironic? Ironic will manage the power state of bare metal nodes, or virtual machines, used for the overcloud deployment, as well as the deployment of the operating system, via a PXE bootable installer image. The disk image used during hardware bootstrap is taken from the undercloud glance image service as I've showed you on the previous session. First, let's create one of the required node, the OpenStack controller. For this training I'm not gonna show you in Red Hat OSP deployment in high availability, just to save resources and time. We can add nodes even in a second step. Okay. Now it's time to register our nodes in Ironic. Since I forget the undercloud IP address every minutes, let me add it to the hosts file. For the same reason I've created a file with the MAC addresses of all the nodes I've defined. At this stage let's focus only to the control node. Let's create the Ironic node associated to the control VM. The Ironic node create command requires some additional explanations. The dash D option stands for driver. By default there are four enabled drivers. For the moment we will be focused on the PXE underscore SSH driver that it's normally used to manage virtual machines. As the name recall, it implements the power management of the virtual machines via SSH using the Verse tool directly on the KVM host. The other SSH parameters are mandatory for the driver selected. IP, user and password are used to access to the KVM host. Good. Node created. Now we need to create the port that will be used as PXE interface. Using the MAC address of the control plane interface. Let's configure the power state of the node. Okay, set. We need now to switch the node to maintenance in order to be ready for introspection. It's time to introspect the control node and following progresses via Vert Manager. Here it is. This is a typical issue using virtual machine. The PXE start configuring the first NIC that in this case it's the management interfaces and not the control plane one. Unfortunately there's no way to disable the PXE on a single interface in KVM, so the easy and quick way to fix this issue is to invert the order of the interfaces directly on the VM descriptor. Perfect. Now let's relaunch the introspection. Done. Checking the node you can see the information gathered by the introspection process. Let's quickly create the other nodes for Contrail and launch introspect also for them. As you can see the nodes are managed by Ironic introspect process powering on node by node and gathering the required information. Now it's time to create the flavor related to each profile, but before doing that, I want to show you something. If you remember the virtual machines were created with 40 gigabytes of disks, but the introspect gathered only 39 gigabytes. This can raise an issue related to the flavor. In fact, the control profile has already a flavor defined by default. This flavor is configured with 40 gigabytes of minimum disk, so it means that the current node selected as a control node doesn't meet the flavor minimum requirement. In other words it will be not selected during the overcloud deployment. We need to review the default flavor fitting our VM resources. Last step for this session. Let's create the local Contrail repositories. Let's download the latest Contrail version. The 4.1. I've never tried this release before, so we luckily meet a couple of funky stuff during the deployment. But no pain no gain, right? We need first to decompress the package in the Apache folder created before. The package already contains the repo data files, so we do not need to build the local repository. Now let's install the package containing the Contrail triple O templates that will be customized in the next session, in order to deploy the overcloud. Good. We just need to make a copy of the templates in our stack user home directory, and we've done all the steps needed to be ready for the overcloud deployment. Ready for really start to play? Thanks guys, see you soon.